First classic between Navy and Old Miss. The Blue Jacket Choir of the Great Lakes Naval Station under the direction of Marvin Gannucci entertains early arrivals in the stadium with a rendition of song. Navy color bearers, 64 in number, make a stirring sight as they march onto the field. The American Legion band follows. Led by high-stepping majorettes, the Old Miss band comes on. The Rebels form a huge M of D at midfield to herald the opening of the annual March of Dimes campaign. The Blue Jackets sing, Come Join the March of Dimes. The famous Navy band of 85 pieces enters the stadium, followed by the brigade of midshipmen from the United States Naval Academy at Annapolis. The future naval officers attired in their blue uniforms, white gloves and caps, drill in perfect alignment. The six companies of middies come to attention and lift their caps in salute to the football fans. Then the middies step off the field as the band plays the March of Victory. And they take their seats in the East Stands directly behind the Navy players' bench. Among the distinguished guests is the Honorable Charles Thomas, Secretary of the Navy. Rear Admiral Walter Boone, Superintendent of the Naval Academy. And Chancellor John Davis Williams of Old Miss. The Rebels of Ole Miss in their Cardinal Red jerseys race onto the field for the pre-game warm-up. Now it's the middies in traditional navy blue jerseys and gold pants dashing on from the north gate. It's warm-up time for the teams, and here's coach Eddie Erdelatz of Navy, and Johnny Vaught, the Ole Miss coach. The Navy mascot, Billy the 14th, gets in a few warm-up jogs, too. And then he obligingly poses for our cameraman. President Bernie Grenred welcomes the fans. He introduces Edwin May of the United States JCs, who presents Colonel Edward Egan with a check for $100,000 for the Olympic Fund, as Arthur Murphy of Life Magazine looks on. The first Sugar Bowl queen, Miss Janet Kern, is escorted to the podium by Captain Graham of the Naval Academy and Student Nye of Ole Miss. Mr. Grenred crowns Miss Kern queen of the 21st Sugar Bowl Classic. And then he bestows a kiss on the pretty miss. The year 1955 marks the bicentennial of the migration of the Acadians to Louisiana. To commemorate the historic event, high school students, descendants of the Canadian immigrants, perform a folk dance for the spectators. The fans stand with bowed heads as Reverend Rest, president of the Greater New Orleans Federation of Churches, delivers a prayer for peace. The Navy, Old Miss, and American Legion bands assemble with the Sugarettes and Acadians, and under the direction of Commander Brendler, combine in rendition of the Star Spangled Banner as Old Glory is raised to the flagpole atop the stadium. And so it's game time now. Time to start the 21st Sugar Bowl Football Classic. Captain Phil Monahan of Navy and Jim Patton with 10 Ole Miss seniors meet for the toss. Ole Miss wins the toss, will defend the south goal. Navy elects to receive. There's the whistle. Paige Cothran kicks off and the game is underway. The ball soars down to Navy's 13-yard line. George Welsh receives and he gallops out to the 30 before he's stopped. Navy on the offense, Welsh calling signals. He hands off to Joe Gattuso, who sweeps left end for six yards to the 36-yard line. That makes it second down, four yards to go. Weaver takes the handoff. He cracks off left guard for three. Webster and Bogan making the stop. Third and one now for Navy. Welsh tries to sneak, but he's held for no gain by Dubasaw. And it's fourth down, inches to go on the 39-yard line. But Welsh elects to gamble. Gattuso hits right tackle for two yards and a first down. However, an offside penalty against the Rebs moves the ball to the 45. So it's first and 10 for Navy as Welsh fades and passes to Ron Beagle. They're all American for eight yards. 
That puts the ball in the old Miss 47. Alliston making the stop. Weaver takes a pitch out, and he picks up a yard on a right end sweep. Harris makes a leaping tackle to ride him down. Joe Gattuso takes a handoff from Welsh and makes six yards and a first down at right tackle before Alliston stops him on the 40-yard line. On a keeper now, Welsh picks up nine yards at right tackle before Cothran and Patton come up for the stop. It's second down, one yard to go. Welsh fakes a handoff, fades, throws a pass intended for Garrow, but it's short and incomplete. The fullback, Gattuso, takes the handoff, roars through a big hole at left tackle for 10 yards, and it's a first down on the 20. Quarterback Welsh fakes, fades, and then passes again, but Dubasan rushes in to slap it down. Welsh under center, pitches off to Weaver, and John gallops around right end for nine yards before Day finally rides him out of bounds. The ball's on the 11, second down, one to go. Gattuso takes the handoff, hits right tackle for three to the eight-yard line. It's the Middies' fourth first down. That makes it first and goal as Welsh fades. He's tackled by Dubasan, laterals to Garrow for a loss of four yards in the play. Navy's penalized 15 yards, though, for illegal use of hands. Second down on 27. Welsh laterals to Weaver. He passes to Smith in the end zone, but Jimmy Patton breaks it up. Weaver takes a pitch out, and he cruises around right end for 24 yards to the Ole Miss three before Eagle Day finally stops him. On third down, Welsh hands off to Gattuso, and Joe Bulls over right tackle is pulled across by teammate Whitmire for a touchdown. Navy scores. It's Navy six, Ole Miss nothing. Weaver will try for the point. Welsh holding. There's a pass from center, the boot. It's good. Navy leads seven to nothing. Whitmire kicking off for the Navy now. He boots to Kennard on the Ole Miss 10-yard line. Billy takes the ball in and races back 29 yards. First and 10 for the Rebels on their 39. Cothran picks up three yards at right tackle. Billy Kennard takes the pitch out, tries to sweep left end, but he's held to no gain by Gattuso. That makes it third and nine. Eagle Day at quarterback fades. Passes to Kennard for a gain of seven yards. Weaver makes the tackle on the 48. And so Ole Miss goes into punt formation. That's Eagle Day deep to do the kicking. His high spiraling boot goes into the end zone and the ball is put in play by Navy on their own 20. First and 10 for the middies. Weaver takes a handoff, but Weiss, Fisher, and Cothran throw him for a loss of three yards. Garrow takes this hand off and hits left tackle, but he gains only one yard as Dubasan makes the stop. Quarterback Welsh makes a pitch out to Garrow, and Jack picks up six yards and a sweep of left end to the 23. Navy goes into punt formation now. That's Catuso back. Joe boots to the Old Miss 43-yard line. But the middies are downfield fast, and they smother Jimmy Patton for a one-yard return. It's Ole Miss's ball, first and ten on the 44. Jimmy Patton picks up two at left guard. Benzie makes the stop. Muirhead takes a pitch out. He tries to skirt right in. But Benzie throws Allen for a loss of two yards. Day fades. Passes to Muirhead. He makes the catch for a gain of nine. Gattuso makes the stop. Ball's on the 46. Fourth down, one yard to go. Ole Miss gambles. Cothran takes a handoff over the middle for two yards, and it's a first down on Navy's 44. On the keeper play this time, Day picks up two yards at left guard. Aronis makes the stop. Day calls the signals. Fades. Fires a bullet past the Fisher, but it's over his head, incomplete. Third and eight. Eagle Day at quarterback, hands off to Muirhead, but Allen fails to gain as Aronis makes the tackle. The Rebels drop back into punt formation. Day deep. Eagle punts out of bounds on Navy's 33-yard line. 
So it's first and ten for the middies and they're 33. Welsh keeps and picks up a yard at right tackle. Gattuso takes the handoff from Welsh and picks up three at center as the first quarter ends. The score, Navy seven, Old Miss nothing. Snape's ball third and six as the second quarter begins. Five yards before their head runs him out of bounds. Now Navy goes into punt formation. Joe Gattuso back. He angles for the sideline. And Gattuso's boot bounces out of bounds on the Old Miss 15. So Old Miss takes over on her own 15-yard line. Bobby McCool takes a handoff from Houston Patton for a four-yard pickup on the play. Another handoff. McCool flips two yards at left guard. Smith making the stop. Quarterback Patton fakes a handoff, pitches to Muirhead who picks up a yard at left end. Benzi in on the tackle. The Rebels go into punt formation. Patton deep. He punts to the Navy 43-yard line, where Blair tackles Garrow and throws him back to the 40. Welsh, the quarterback for Navy, fades and passes to Smith for a gain of eight yards. Blair runs him out on the Navy 48-yard line. That makes it second and two. John Weaver takes a handoff over right tackle for a gain of 10 yards and another Navy first down on the Old Miss 42. Welsh calling signals, fakes, fades, and throws a long pass intended for Garrow. But it's over his head and incomplete. Weaver of Navy on a quickie cracks left tackle for four before Muirhead makes the stop. Welsh fades, looking for Weaver, he throws. Complete the Weaver for 15 yards and a first down on the Rebel 19. Again, Welsh fades and passes. It's to All-America end, Ron Beagle, and good for eight yards before Ron's thrown out of bounds by Patton. Second and two on the 11-yard line, Welsh calls a signal. He keeps it himself, gets three yards at right tackle, and it's a first down on the eight. Weaver takes the handoff over right tackle, but he fails to gain this time. Patton and Fisher make the stop. Garrow takes a pitch out from Welsh. Hits back over left tackle. Picks up four yards. Dubasar making the stop. Weaver takes a pitch out. Cuts back over right tackle for one yard before he's buried by a horde of rebels. Fourth down, some three yards to go to a touchdown for Navy. Welsh fades, looking for Beagle. He passes to Ron in the end zone. He dives for the ball, makes the catch. It's a touchdown, but wait a minute. There's a discussion on the play. And it is no score. The ball goes over to Ole Miss on the one foot line. So it's Ole Miss's ball, first and ten. Jimmy Patton takes the handoff, whirls over left guard, runs it out for eight yards. That makes it second and two. Jimmy Patton again takes the handoff, goes inside left end of the 13, and a first down now before Whitmire makes the stop. First and ten, Ole Miss. On its own 13, Houston Patton fades back, passes to Fisher. It's complete, but the play is called back. The old Miss backfield was in motion. That puts the ball back on the eight, second down. Houston Patton laterals to Jimmy Patton, who goes to the 16 for a gain of nine yards. Jimmy Patton takes a handoff over center for two yards. Whitmire makes the tackle this time. Bobby McCool takes a handoff from Patton and slashes left tackle for three. Fourth down and Ole Miss decides to punt. Houston Patton in punt formation kicks weakly out of bounds to the right on the Rebels 39 yard line. So the middies take over, Navy's ball, the Ole Miss 39, Navy substitutes a new team. Guest takes the handoff from Ecker, the new quarterback fails to gain at left end. Eckerd, who's replaced Welsh at quarterback, has good protection, drops back, and he hits Freeman with a pass, but Kennard breaks it up. Third and ten. Again, Eckerd fades, passes to Hepworth. But he drops the ball, and it's incomplete. Middies go into punt formation now. That's Guest back. He boots for the sidelines, and the ball goes out of bounds on the old miss, 13. 
Catherine of Old Miss takes a handoff, picks up three yards at right end. Hunts makes the tackle. Eagle Day, Rebel quarterback, fakes, fades, passes to Blair. But it's broken up by Gober. Again, Day makes the fake, fades, keeps the ball. This time he decides to run. And he picks up six yards before Hunts makes the stop. It's fourth down on the 23-yard line, and Ole Miss elects to gamble. Day hands off to Cotter, who cracks center for six, and a first down on the Ole Miss 29. Day fakes the handoff, fades, and passes to Dickerson. But it's incomplete, and Hepworth almost intercepts. Day calling the signals. He fades and tries a flat pass this time, intended for Muirhead, but Freeman breaks it up. Again, Eagle Day fades. He throws a pass deep, intended for Muirhead. He's open, but it's over his head, incomplete. Old Miss in punt formation now. Eagle Day back to kick. Eagle punts out of bounds on the Navy 40, where the middies will take over. Navy on the offense. Hepworth takes a pitch out from Eckert, picks up two at right tackle. Yelverton makes the stop. Quarterback Eckert fades and passes to Barker, who dives for the catch for a gain of four yards. Eckert keeps the ball, fades the pass. He can't find a receiver. Decides to run, and he sprints right in for 19 yards before Blair finally bowls him out of the old Miss 34. So it's a first down Navy. Eckert, the quarterback, fades and throws a long pass to Freeman. But it's incomplete, broken up by Muirhead and Day. Gilbert takes a pitch out over left guard, then cuts for the sidelines and picks up six yards before Dubasar makes the tackle. Now watch Eckert, he starts to the left, hands off to Gober, tackle, but throws him for a loss of four yards. Fourth down, Eckert fakes, fades, and passes deep to Barker. But Jimmy Patton intercepts on the old Miss nine, and he's driven back to the three by Gober. Old Miss ball on the three-yard line, first and ten. Eagle Day fades into his own end zone and throws to Patton, but it's incomplete as the first half ends. Navy leads seven to nothing. And now let's take a panoramic tour of the Sugar Bowl Stadium. Fill the capacity for this great classic. Located on Tulane University campus, the Sugar Bowl is the largest steel constructed stadium in the world today. This was the site of a sugar cane plantation. Here, sugar was first granulated. Hence, the title for this classic, The Sugar Bowl, is quite appropriate. The Old Miss Band, directed by Lyle Babcock, marches onto the field and forms USN in tribute to the United States Navy. Then the Rebels move into a happy 55 formation. And the UMAC in tribute to the University of Mississippi Athletic Committee. A gigantic Confederate flag is unfolded by Ole Miss students carried right over the band. Under the flag, the band forms Dixie, D-I-X-I-E, and then plays this stirring number, which is its alma mater. The Sugarettes clad in red and white ballerina skirts with white waistcoats make their annual appearance in the Sugar Bowl as they swing into a jive dance routine. This is followed by a boogie-woogie precision number to the tune of Jazz Pizzicato. These New Orleans public high school girls receive a well-deserved round of applause from the happy holiday audience. And now the Navy Band takes over. 
Under the direction of Commander Brendler, the Navy musicians form a diamond and render I Got Rhythm. A solo on the English post horn features this rendition. Navy then forms a massive letter M and plays Dixie as a tribute to the University of Mississippi. Then the Navy band forms a huge letter N at midfield and plays the Navy Victory March. Committees stand and lift their caps in salute, and the band then goes into the formation of an anchor and marches off the field to anchors away. And so for the second half, and here we go. Cothran kicks off to Garrow on the 15-yard line. Jack takes the ball, returns up the middle to the 44 before Kennard finally makes the stop. Navy on the move, Welsh. Pitches out the Weaver. He picks up three yards at right end. Welsh at quarterback hands off to Gattuso this time for a gain of one yard at left tackle. Cothran and Dubasaw make the stop. That's Welsh fading and passing this time to Smith for ten yards and a first down on the old Miss 42. Navy leading seven to nothing as Welsh fades to pass. But Shepard rushes in and slaps the ball down. Second and ten. Weaver takes the pitch out. He circles right end and picks up eight yards. Gattuso gets the handoff. And he rips through right tackle for 17 yards and a first down on the old Miss 17-yard strike. On another handoff, Gattuso gains one yard at right end before Jimmy Patton runs him out of bounds. That makes it second and nine. John Weaver takes the pitch out from Welsh. And he gains two yards at right end before Alliston and Fisher run him out of bounds. Welsh keeps the ball now, fades and passes. It's just out of Weaver's reach, incomplete. Fourth down, six yards to go on the old Miss 16-yard line. Welsh fades, he passes to Weaver in the end zone, and John makes a spectacular catch for a touchdown with Kennard riding his back. Navy leads 13 to nothing. Weaver will try for the extra point. Welsh holding, there's the ball. He spots it, the boot is good. The score now, Navy 14, Old Miss nothing. Whitmire kicks off following the touchdown to the Old Miss 28-yard line. Dickerson takes the ball. He drives out to the 40. McCool hits the middle with a handoff, but he's smeared by the Navy forward wall. Eagle Day, quarterback for Old Miss, fades and snaps a pass to Blair, but it's over his head and incomplete. Day again fades. He's rushed hard by Benzie. Trying to get it off, he finally throws and out of bounds. But the Rebels are penalized for having an ineligible receiver downfield. Fourth down, and Old Miss falls back into punt formation. Eagle Day on his own 25 gets off a towering boot. A beautiful punt that travels 72 yards to Navy's 7-yard line. Weaver picks it up and is smothered on the 7th. Navy on the offensive. Weaver takes a handoff from Welsh up the middle for seven yards. That makes it second and three. On a handoff from Welsh, Gattuso rams the middle of the line, cuts left and cruises 21 yards before Blair finally rides him out of bounds. So it's first and ten, and Navy's 36. The Middy's in control of the ball. Garrow takes a handoff over left tackle for seven yards. Joe Gattuso again. He rips and tears over right guard to the Ole Miss 44, but he fumbles. There's a wild scramble for the ball. Finally, Whitmire makes the recovery in the Ole Miss 34, a first down for Navy. Welsh takes the handoff. Runs to the right, then pitches to Weaver. Weaver cuts back for two yards at right end. Welsh, the quarterback, fakes, whirls. 
pitches to Garrow. But the play loses a yard when Day and James move up and knock him down. Welsh runs to the right, pitches to Weaver, who circles right end, evading tacklers, and gains 25 yards in a first down on the Old Miss 22-yard line. Fullback Joe Gattuso takes the handoff into the center of the line. He breaks into the open, cuts, and picks up 19 yards in a first down for Navy on the Old Miss 3. Gattuso again smashes into the middle, deals the game as Shepard, Sheeran, McCool converge on him. Gattuso again hammers at the middle of the line, and he goes to the one-foot strike. For the fourth straight time, Gattuso carries. He hits left side, and this time he's over for a touchdown. Navy leads 20 to nothing. Welsh will hold for the kick. Weaver will do the booting. There's the boot. It's through the uprights, and the score is Navy 21, Old Miss 0. Here's Whitmire kicking off for Navy following the touchdown. The ball goes to the Old Miss 12-yard line. Alan Muirhead receives, and he returns to the 22 before Whitmire runs him out of bounds. Playlack into the game. Under center is quarterback, calls the signals. McCool takes the handoff, picks up a yard at right guard. It's second and nine. Playlack fades deep. He passes. It's a screen to Harris, but it's incomplete. Muirhead takes a handoff from Blaylock into the middle for a gain of one yard. And Ole Miss goes in to punt for Macon. Blaylock doing the kicking, and he punts out of bounds on the Navy 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten for the middies. On a handoff, Hero gets one yard at left guard. George Welsh calling the signal. Welsh makes a jump pass to Smith, but it's incomplete. Weaver takes a pitch out around right end for six yards before the Rebels check his advance. Navy is in punt formation. Joe Gattuso back. He kicks. And Gattuso's punt rolls dead on the Old Miss 22. Old Miss ball on their own 22-yard line. Blaylock, the quarterback, takes a handoff. Laterals high out to Muirhead. He tries to sweep left end, cuts back, and runs for 13 yards. Ford Dander throws him out of bounds. Muirhead takes a handoff over the middle for two yards. Benzie makes the stop as the third quarter comes to an end. The score, Navy 21, Old Miss nothing. Now the final quarter begins as Kennard takes a handoff from Blaylock but fails to gain as the Navy forwards move in. Jimmy Patton takes a low pitch out from Blaylock, then skirts right end for four yards before he's run out of bounds. Old Miss is in punt formation. Blaylock deep. Punts for the sidelines and out of bounds in the Navy 27, but the Rebels are penalized 15 yards for illegal use of hands. So Old Miss punts once again. Blaylock kicks from his 24. And the ball rolls dead on the Navy 41. Navy takes over first and 10 on its own 41. A handoff from Eckert. Epworth picks up four yards at left guard. Eckert calling the signals. He keeps, leaps, and tries to hit Owen. But Blaylock intercepts on the Old Miss 44. Old misses ball in her own 44-yard line. Cothran hits right tackle for two yards before Webster stops him. Cothran takes a handoff from Blaylock and picks up three yards at right tackle. On a pitch out, Muirhead skirts left end for two yards. Hunts comes up and makes a stop. Fourth down, five yards to go on Navy's 48-yard line. Blaylock fades and passes intended from your head. 
But it's incomplete, and the ball goes over to the middies on their own 48. Guest takes a handoff from Eckert, finds a big hole at left tackle, and rambles for 12 yards before he stumbles and falls in the old Miss 40. First and 10 Navy. Eckert pitches out to Gover. He picks up one yard on the left end sweep. Guest takes a handoff from Eckert, goes up the middle for four yards. The ball's on the 35, third down, five yards to go. Eckert keeps the ball, fades. He passes intended for Freeman, but it's low and incomplete. Again, Eckert fades. He passes and hits Gober on the old Miss 17 for a gain of 18 yards and a first down Navy. Eckert, the quarterback, goes back to pass once again. He's rushed hard and thrown for a loss of six yards by power. Eckert keeps it again. He fades, rushed hard once again. He tries to sweep the right end, but loses eight yards as Williams makes the tackle. Ball in the old Miss, 31. Third down, 24 to go. Eckert fades, drifts to the left, passes a long one intended for Hepworth, who juggles the ball, makes a fine catch for a gain of 18 yards. Fourth down and six to go for Navy. Eckert fades back and passes to Hepworth but it's wide of its mark incomplete, and the ball goes over to the Rebels on their 13-yard line. Puts first down, 10 yards to go for Ole Miss. Houston Patton, fades from the quarterback spot, passes intended for Drury, but it's incomplete. Once again, Patton fades. Passes down the middle to Harris, but it's too high. For the third time, it's Patton back to throw. He tries to hit Harris with a pass, and again he misses the target. Fourth down for Ole Miss, and Patton drops back in punt formation. He boots out to the Navy 33-yard line, and Monahan returns to the 39, where Blair makes the stop. Navy sends in a brand new team. It's Carzep calling the signals. Monto takes the handoff and hits center for nine yards. Carzep, the new quarterback, fakes spades and tries to hit Monahan with a pass. But Cothran makes a one-handed interception, and he returns to Navy's 36-yard strike. First and 10 for Ole Miss and Navy's 36. Patton fades and passes to Alan Muirhead for seven yards. Cothran misses the handoff, and Patton recovers for a loss of three. Blair takes a handoff, it's right guard for four. Monahan and Whitner make the stop. Fourth down for Ole Miss. Patton fades back from his quarterback position, fades and passes to Fisher for a gain of 11 yards, and it's a first down on Navy 17. On a delay sneak, Patton keeps and picks up four yards at the middle. Hauer makes the stop. Cothran takes a handoff, gains five yards at right tackle, but he fumbles, and Malin recovers for Navy on her seven-yard line. Monto running for Navy, takes a handoff from Korzeff. It's a gain of five up the middle. Monahan rolls over center for six yards, and it's a first down on the 19 before Powers makes the stop. Malin takes a handoff over right tackle for nine yards. And a penalty for delaying the game gives Navy a first down on the 34. Corzep fakes spades, is rushed, and tackled by Powers, but he laterals out to Malin, who goes back over right tackle, cuts back laterally across the field, and dashes up the sideline 31 yards before Kennard finally runs him out of bounds. Goes up the quarterback, fades and passes, but Stone intercepts on the 30 for Ole Miss, and he returns to his own 41-yard line. Jenkins in now calling the signals for the Rebels. He fades, is rushed hard by Hunts, and loses five yards. Another penalty for delay puts the ball on the Rebel 31-yard line. Blalak replaces Jenkins at quarterback. He fades runs and tries to hit Crawford with a pass. 
but it's incomplete. Blalak falls as he tries to fade for a pass and loses four yards as the game ends. Navy wins 21 to nothing. Jubilant fans surge out to congratulate Coach Eddie Erdlatz and the victorious Navy team. The Navy and Ole Miss bands again assemble to play while the Blue Jacket Choir sings, May the Good Lord Bless and Keep You. Another Sugar Bowl classic is history.